Like what I'm seeing. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharkness Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder movies Korg Build a Figure Waves Thor. Try to pick up your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And oh man, this is looking pretty awesome. Uh, this Thor does not come with a build a figure piece at all. Anyway, on the back of the packaging, you can see there's a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. There's the other figures from the wave. And then on the top, you get the spot varnished cracked mule there and not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open oh man i've been wanting to open this one pretty bad oh man i always get scared of rooting the capes on these and ooh, it's kind of a softer cape but anyway wow ah, all right let's spend some time with the figure and then get him back on the rotating base <laughs> And here's a brand new Thor figure out of the packaging, looking pretty awesome. I gotta say, I really like this design. I did not expect Hasbro to reuse parts from older figures for this, so that's kind of a surprise. Anyway, let's get a closer look at that Stormbreaker, and then we'll get a closer look at Thor. So again, really wish we had interchangeable hands for Thor, like some fisted hands would have been great, but we just get the Stormbreaker right over here, and it has less paint on it than the Stormbreaker that came with the Ravager Thor. Ah, that's disappointing, right? Oh, why not paint them both that's so weird and i am realizing especially after just watching the second trailer for love and thunder that these storm breakers are too small like they're really really small look he should be holding a much larger storm breaker in hand so that is unfortunate <laughs> So the fact that Taika Watiki was able to get not one, but two helmets on Chris Hemsworth just makes him one of my favorite people ever. I think the design for Thor in this movie just looks incredible, and I love having this helmet covering his face over here like this. It's just a really cool look. Uh, I like that Eric Masterson design, and that's what I'm seeing right over here. Well, inspired by it a bit, right? No? But the eyes are cockeyed, man. I can see his right eye is looking all the way in. This one's looking more forward so that just looks bad right over there the beard looks pretty good and i do like the touches of metallic blue throughout on the helmet that looks great and i'm not seeing weird marbling going on i may find some at one point but for the most part this is looking very clean also love the paint detail in the hair that is very impressive not a big fan of the cape kind of looks like a big red sheet you know some color variation or something like that would have been nice to see a very bright red color by the way one thing i really do like about this cape though is how thin it is i feel like the capes in general are a little bit thinner right i kind of like it then the rest of the figure looks dope i love all the bright colors that we're seeing right over here really love this design man looks really good with that metallic blue i love metallic blue then they redid the arms right over here from the infinity war thor figure which i just didn't expect to see reuse get the pinless knees but we don't get the pinless arms right here it's pinless on this side for the forearm because that part's new but on this side right there you could clearly see that you could see the pin but nice red paint over here i do love that metallic blue throughout get some nice details right there on the hand again wish we had interchangeable hands with this figure this side looks really good too man just looking at all the details on this i love intricate details on the back we are missing paint even though they did paint the belt gold and you have some gold right up over here so that's cool it's going to be covered by the cape for the most part you can see the back of the legs right over there looks really good right there on the calves with that gold and the chainmail pattern throughout just looks really impressive i'm very happy with this man i love the metallic blue it just looks so sick to me blue is my favorite color you can see some marbling at the bottom of the feet as well as peg holes so the articulation on this figure threw me off because i was expecting just a dumbbell joint right here but we get a dumbbell joint with hinge so it made me go look back at my older thor figures and no th this is all new stuff right over here unless it's buried underneath the armor or something like that you know but anyway uh with that neck hinge and all that hair he will look up just the slightest bit and you can move the head downward that 
that much. You get side to side motion and a little bit of head wobbling. No butterfly joints, but you can move the arms outward that much. And in that far, you can rotate a full 360, but you must splay them outward in order to get that full rotation in there. And I don't recommend doing this. All right. Anyway, you get a bicep swivel. You get the pinned double jointed elbows. Then both wrists turn side to side and they both hinge up and down. You get the diaphragm joint that turns side to side, diaphragm pivoting, crunches forward that much and back that much. And you can see how far back you could bend that to where you're not going to see paint anymore it's just solid black right there with the sculpt and then no waist cut here but you get the hips that move outward that far and then you can kick forward that much and back a bit if you leave them posed like this for a long period of time i'm sure it's going to get splayed out and you're gonna to have to reheat it to set it back into place then you get the upper thigh cuts and then you get the pinless double jointed knees that only bend in that much wish you could get more range of movement right over there and then the ankles don't turn side to side you can only move them down you can move them up a bit and he has beautiful ankle pivot it's actually a weird ankle pivot you have to kind of flip it over this little piece on the side i think the angle on the ankle pivot is actually really weird i'm just really noticing that right now yeah Weird ankle pivot, not the beautiful ankle pivot, but the, the weird ankle pivot. Now to measure out this new Thor figure, you can see that he is standing just a bit under seven and a half inches tall. Then for your MCU Thor helmeted figure comparison, we have the Avengers Walmart exclusive Thor. I think I did repaint that helmet. And then we have the Gladiator Thor from Thor Ragnarok. Then for one more Thor size comparison, here's our latest Love and Thunder Thor next to the end game Thor in the final battle. And I just want to see these two side by side. Wow, what a drastic change right over there okay i had to do a head swap and wow that does look awesome like surprisingly awesome i i actually really dig this that's just really cool looking to me maybe this would be cool too if i painted the helmet all black i don't know and then here's the new thor figure next to all of the other figures from the wave except for the build a figure you can see we have teen groot star lord mighty thor ravager thor king valkyrie and Gore the God Butcher and to do a head swap over here because of course you got to have both of these figures so you could do the head swap and have the helmetless Thor as we've seen him several times in the trailer like this and it looks really good. I like that looks awesome i mean it also would have been cool if the figure came with an extra head sculpt and with a different facial expression maybe the smiling head would have come with this one that would have been kind of neat but you know nope then here's the new thor figure next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man whoa hey it's dude thor ah, big old man thor ah, kind of outdated though thor don't you know all the new superheroes are supposed to be babes <laughs> get out of here now so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos. And a big thank you to all the people over here that go the extra mile to support this content via the Tron and membership. If you feel like paying forward and you're in a position to do so, check it out, link below for the perks. And this figure is a lot of fun. I really like it a lot. I love the design. I'm a sucker for shiny metallic blue and seeing the gold and blue on this guy. I don't know, I just think this is a very unique design and for something that's so different from what I've seen in the past whether it be movies or comics I'm surprised I really like it as much as I do I mean kudos to the people that put this together I just think it's really freaking awesome and I love being able to switch the heads with the Ravager Thor figure I'm not too bummed out about there not being an extra head because getting the Ravager Thor figure is something I definitely wanted to pick up anyway so I'm not even really bummed out about that but for those who only want to pick up one new Thor figure yeah you're probably gonna be upset about not getting that extra head in there but now, aside from that and the Stormbreaker figure being a little on the small side and weird ankle pivot stuff, you know, uh, something about that. We need the boot rotation, bro. We really need boot rotation on these figures. So anyway, at the price point of around 25 to 28 bucks, I'm going to give this brand new Thor figure a sub rating of... I love it! Well, I guess maybe not brand new because those arms were reused and along with Stormbreaker. But regardless, I'd like to know what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. I have to reheat it to get it. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.